number 44, Riley Gilliam. Bryce Tucker struck out three of the four outs he recorded, and he hands the ball off to Riley Gilliam of Clemson to close this one out. Gilliam, we saw in game one of this series, close the door with a back-to-back -back strikeouts looking, with the bases loaded in a tight situation there. No one on the base pass for him to start this inning fresh, and he looks to close out yet another tight USA ball game. It would be his second in three nights against Chinese Taipei, and yet another game that's within the, the, the run amount to record a save as all these games have been close. USA uh, coming away with the first two, and they're in, in position to do so here, but they've all been competitive. Another runner left on that's double digits for the second straight game for the U.S. Chinese Taipei will have 7, 8, 9 in their order. Pinch hitters on their way. This one, number 85. Leo Kaye, the catcher who came in last inning to go alongside the pitcher, Jem Po Lung. And he will lead off this top half of the ninth. The U.S. three outs away from clinching this five-game series with just a two-run lead here, though. Gilliam deals. That one on the outside corner for a called strike 0 and one So this, we mentioned, the second straight game that Chinese Taipei has used three catchers. Neo Kaye entered the game yesterday defensively and saw some time but did not record in at bat or step up to the plate. It's been a patient day with pitchers on the mound. Not so with Gilliam as he's already thrown twice. That one, his third, two and one. So a different pace for these Chinese Taipei batters to work with. And I think the frantic pace here got Yo off guard there. He bailed on the breaking ball pretty early even though it was outside of the strike zone at the end. And he swung and caught air that time, so now the count two and two. Gilliam working quickly, working successfully thus far. That one swung on and fouled off, 94 miles an hour. Fastest we've seen anyone throw so far today. Gilliam can certainly pump it, as uh, we saw a couple of nights ago, and he wastes no time, man. He's all energy. A pair of breaking balls, strikeout looking in that first game. There goes a strikeout swinging on that beautiful breaker, and we have one away. Mentioning for Chinese Taipei for Chen Now we have number 55, Tu Wen Xiao. He will take the batter's box on the right-hand side, trying to do what no batter has done yet, avoid a strikeout to Riley Gilliam. And Tu here started as the designated hitter yesterday, was 0 for 2 with a K. That is a called strike. Here comes the next one. Watch out, that's strike two. Blink and you'll miss it, folks. Riley Gilliam working quickly here in this top half of the ninth. That one just misses that outside corner. I'd say it's a welcomed change of pace. Hope two doesn't have an expected chance at a routine here in this box because that's being thrown <laughs> out the door. One, two, breaking ball, swung on and missed strike three. That is two strikeouts swinging so far. For Riley Gilliam. Gilliam means business. He's coming in here not wasting pitches. He's not teetering the line on the edges of the strike zone. He's going right at these guys. And that breaking ball, man, it's full two batters in a row. 94 dropping down to 78. That one misses for a ball. Fung Guo Chen, who came in a couple innings ago. Now digging in the batter's box, 1-0 count. That one swung on, lifted in the air towards right center field. Back goes McCarthy, he's under it, he makes the catch. And that's your ball game, folks. USA takes this one 3-1 over Chinese Taipei. It is their third win of this five-game series. 3-0 series clinching win. Team USA will win their 13th series overall against Chinese Taipei. And once again, Riley Gilliam, just about the most impressive thing we saw today. Worked in about, oh, a minute 30 seconds to get those three outs there. He worked extremely quickly as opposed to the slower pace that every other pitcher in this game took. Records the save. It's his second in three nights. Sean Weimer gets the win on the mound for the USA. Lin An Ko with the loss uh, is saddled with the L for Chinese Taipei. And uh, 
Again, another low-scoring account between these two teams. The USA, a lot of opportunities, not taking advantage of all of them. But when you have so many, so many are going to fall into place and go your way. And it's been enough three nights in a row. One of those opportunities afforded by Jake McCarthy, two stolen base, pinch hit run scored. That one was the difference in the bottom of the second. And Team USA with the 3-1 to one win here on a Thursday night in Cary, North Carolina. We'll be back at it tomorrow for some day baseball. As of now, 3 p.m. with some weather looming. But we'll be back on the call. MLB.com will be running tomorrow's call for you folks. So for Darren Vaught, I'm Joe DiRienzo. Thank you all so much for listening. Good night.